Lightning, so they decided, you know what, we'll play two today here in Tuscaloosa. Game one coming up, and it is her and idolize her, and she takes that so serious. But as far as what she does when she steps in the lineup, as we said, Mickey Dean changing things up different than what we got for last night's game. Just want to hop her over to Ashley Prangy at third, and Peralta is retired. You know, people were lined up here in Tuscaloosa in 2020, but the season was canceled. The zone a little bit. Both of them have that drop ball that they've worked on. Ball spinning 71 miles an hour. Garcia a little late on it. His win against LSU since 2017. And that's the first K of the day for Montana. Foul to Alabama gets two. They get Lizenby going back. One innings has only given up the three hits. The one double has given up one home run. Four. Jenna Johnson continues her hitting to the gap, trying to get down to second in time, and she's safe. Bama coming off the sweep of Mississippi State last weekend. She had three hits. There it is, just fair for Ali Shipman. Around comes Jenna Johnson and the Crimson Tide on the board. Right field up the line, stays with it. Out, respectfully so. Pitchers are gonna bring you something pretty good. Gets a big swing from Bailey Dowling and sits her down. That's a good response. Her graduated early to become one of the members of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Pop up to center, Trezvik going back. And there is out number three, but and how much they love her. And I mean, that's what makes her at you. And she's always been such a class act. Briellis rolls this one to Ashley Prangy. You know, and Montana posted about that on her social. McCrary will take this one over to Kinley Kahalen at short. So coming in now, a little younger at 17, 18. And the responsibility mentality when you've been doing it for five years. Gets the swing of Trusvik, her second K of the day. And Montana, fantastic. I mean, coming into today, she had 54 innings pitched. Oh, I mean, Mickey Dean was telling us you know, she's working back into game shape because she's been dealing with sooner rather than later. That recovery time, she's still working back with that. Lindsay Garcia under this one. Sorry, got to deal with it. Abby Duke, sure, the DP. Over to Peralta to retire. You don't want a pitcher like that, though. Full count to Pruitt. Strikeout number two of the day for Shelby Lowe. That's a great numbers here, Danielle. No, I would say uh, pretty darn good in my closer to her not getting to wear a Bama uniform again. Big swing and a miss. It's back to back case now going. How good her stuff really is, especially when that rise ball is moving and she has been trying to get a big swing and miss out of the zone. Back to back to back handed hitters and there was only one in the lineup for strikes out the side make it four strikeouts in a row for four o'clock eastern that'll be game two of this series chris and white hitting in the number nine spot trying to lay down the bunt confidence to make those plays that maybe last season they at times were a little out of their league ball player Prangy underneath it into foul territory and going over to make the grab as Lindsey Garcia in the first inning. It was just her third double of the season. A little bit maybe out. Boom. Shelby Lowe, strikeout number three. And at times it's hard too when you're not swinging early in the count. Like Nelia Peralta. I have played with hitters that do not swing first pitch. Jen Salling. One and Ash facing Montana Fouts, 2-2. Two -two. Rolls it to Dowling. 
gather a couple things and get back in this game easily. Yeah, this is an Auburn team. They're here because I had the alum Kelly Kretschmann just blow me up. Oh. Garcia running up to grab it. Stat line this year. Come in and attack early. She has that good curve ball. She can spin that backdoor curve. Giles bounces it off the wall. She's got to hustle back to first. When I think off the bat, Thought it was a home run. I mean, a little high five there from the coach, but. You talk about being ready for your pinch hit opportunity, and guess what? Marley Giles was. Prangy. That sounded good. Bounced off the top of the wall. Sliding. But that was an RBI double. The sixth double of the season. Roach going back, runner holds. Johnson liked it into the grass. Here comes Hensley sliding home. This is a pitch on the inner half, a backdoor curveball, and Tresvik in center thought about potentially laying out. But right now, she is on. To center. Shipman coming around, trying to get down. She's safe. Oh, and this was close. Ball on the field, being challenged. Sliding in. Kahalen. Scooped up by Tresvik. Have meant to this program, it, it just kind of hits you a little bit different and come in to when their career ends. Denver Bryant, first pitch. 12th home run that Montana Fouts has given up this year. Just the fourth home run of the season for Denver Bryant. She only had four hits. Of what Coach Mickey Dean said about just being on time. She's going to supply the up, and I don't blame her. This is just, a legit certain matchups. Maybe you want to throw someone game one and game two are not able to win right out of the gate. Loser's bracket can be tough. Peralta top of the order. Off the wall. Slide swing. I want to see you take a hack at a pitch that you know She's been perfect on first. First struck out looking in the fourth. She was the last strikeout by Fouts in this game. Got jammed up. Broadfoot underneath it. She's moved over from first to third, as remember. Sprinting up is Johnson. Hits in the last inning, plated three runs. Drops in. And it gets away from McCrary. Broadfoot going to third. I've gotten five hits off of Weidra today. And that's the spinny curveball that she's going to have to continue to keep throwing with that type of miscue and right. Larissa Pruitt. Hopper over to Roach. And across comes Stevens. You didn't get me going. <laughs> There's Bryant. Fire, and you see the emotion from her, too, making that play. First one of the game. Whoa. I say it all the time. That's a pitch. 3-2 to Ellis. And she walks. Second walk issued today by Fa 
tend to be his strengths. And it's really allowed for her to, I think, kind of maybe dive into just learning more about herself as a pitcher, trying to get out pretty soon if they will be back for 2028 and lost. They didn't have heavy, heavy spin rate when you throw hard. Trezvic going to center. White underneath it. All is released from your hand when it crosses the plate to spin as much because it's coming in too hot. Blaine looking for room. Nope. Not there. Johnson charging on it and Alabama win. And today was about celebrating Montana Fouts and her senior day. Everyone is here.